wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. And though I know that there is nothing to find. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. And you can't put up a fight in the misty light. So it is day one of the Bell Tent series. So today mainly consisted of bringing the gear down, putting it all into the Bell Tent and setting everything up. So it was a pretty long day, there's a lot of gear, obviously it's quite a long duration and you need quite a bit of gear over that sort of time. You need your food and your sleep system and a wood burner to go in there and all your tools you need to obviously harvest wood and cooking utensils and things like that. And you kind of, when you've got a base camp, it's ideal to have a backup of a backup and just have spares. Obviously you can't just run down to the shop and pick something up or repair something so I think it's best to come prepared. It's been an absolutely stunning day though, really nice first day to kick off the, the series. It's been bright sunshine and uh, just really really lovely day, quite warm for the spring. You still get chilly evenings but it definitely is getting warmer, spring is on its way, you are seeing signs of flowers and the buds are coming out, it's just everything's coming alive now and it's nice to see, it's pretty magical. The bell tent is absolutely amazing, really impressed with it, it's awesome. The other day we cleared the area, the ground behind, which took quite a bit of time. There's obviously a lot of bracken and uneven ground and moss and stones around here. You get a lot of flint, so it was a long process trying to get a nice level bit of ground. And then, yeah, we set it up, put the guy lines out, put the centre pole in. It was pretty simple setup. And then it rained really badly, really badly that night. There was a lot of water, there's a lot of floodings and with a canvas material it's, it's good to have a lot I think it's three rains it should have before it waterproofs fully the material the the stitching or something within the material um, gets tighter so it becomes more water resistant rain don't come through as easy there was a lot of water on the floor had to clear that up um, I just got a frying pan and scooped it out and that worked, it worked well. And then we just packed everything in. Like I said, there's quite a bit of gear for the duration we're doing, but it's so peaceful, really lovely. It's nice to be just outside. Definitely a great place to come and reflect and just think about life in general and just chew things over. Look forward to what tomorrow brings.
morning everyone. It is day six today. Me and Lou are up. Um, it's about nine o'clock now. We've got our toast on. We've got a kettle on for a drink this morning. So yeah, we're using this amazing wood burner that we were given by a good friend called John all the way from Somerset. So yeah, it's awesome burner. It's been keeping us warm in here, drying our stuff out, drying the wood out and cooking and boiling water for us. So it's been awesome to have with the bell tent. Cheers, John. Yeah, there's Lou, just reading a book this morning. But sun's coming out, so it should be a nice day. I'm gonna get some more wood today and um, probably make a mallet or something for our wood splitting just to make it a bit easier. But we're gonna crack on now, so. Much love. first sap of the year so that is really really nice it's got such a sweet taste it tastes a little bit like coconut water that you get it's um really good so it's been a lovely day temperature is starting to drop it's meant to be zero degrees tonight got the open fire on just for uh, cooking and boiling up water for uh, hot drinks and keep him warm and then uh, we're going to head into the bell tent not going to light the wood burner tonight it uses a lot of fuel takes up a lot of wood which takes up a lot of time so yeah we are only use the burner if it's really damp inside you've got to dry some gear off or it's quite cold but yeah it's it's not too bad the good thing about spending more time outside is you get sort of used to the cold, you get immune to the, the cold in your bones. So, yeah. I blooming don't. <laughs> She's been having a hot water bottle, which is a really good way of keeping warm because it obviously, you put it in your sleeping bag, you do your sleeping bag zip up, and you've got your, your body heat and the hot water bottle, so it's, it's a good way of keeping warm in the winter or cold nights lovely lovely evening blue skies stars are starting to come out and we're just gonna sit and chill around the campfire and uh, get a coffee on
It is day eight today. So day eight, and it's a pretty nice day. It's sunny out, it's not raining, which is great. Decided that I'm going to put my tarp set up up. So I'm gonna do a tarp configuration. And um, I feel that will shelter us a little bit from the wind. The wind mostly comes from that direction. It's also something to sit under when you're sitting around the fire and it's raining. Soon we're gonna start using the outside fire a lot more than the wood burner, especially when the hotter days come and um, the wood dries out, you'll just have your coffee on the campfire. At the minute, we've been using gas just for the mornings, because um, obviously we've set everything up and been settling in and doing bits and bobs, so, gas has been easiest for making coffee in the morning. Today I'm going to get some of my gear out and dry it off, like my sleeping bag. It's good to air your bag out if you're in it for a long time, just to air it out a little bit and it obviously gets damp when it's in one place all the time. So yeah, I've got it behind me actually. Just turn it inside out. It was hanging on the ridge line, but now I'm putting the tarp up there. So I'm just going to hang it on my, the back of my chair. And um, I realise I haven't gone through much of the gear we've bought with us and the inside of the bell tent that much in that much detail. So I think I'll be doing that later today, just showing you what sort of stuff we bought and um, what we've really liked using so much, like what we've used a lot so far. And I'd say already it's that, that Raymi's kettle that you see a lot. I've used that so much just from, from, because we've had a lot of hot drinks as it's been like quite cold and I drink quite a bit of coffee. Got porridge for breakfast this morning with some bits on top, lose nearly eaten hers. So nice wholesome breakfast this morning. So Lou is just doing the last of the poles, just getting all the sort of ash and embers and just the charcoal out of the flues. So it gets clogged up quite a bit as we've used it nearly every day or every other day. So it's good to take it apart and clean it out once in a while. Plus we've got to take the flu down as we've had a bit of a issue as there's been such strong winds. So what we're going to do is tie a bit of wire to the top of the flu and attach it to something so it's more stable, more upright. Where the wind blows from the southeast, it's just leaning now. It's just pushing against it. So I've got my wire, I'm just going to tie it in one of these holes just to make it more stable. 
and then attach it to paracord. So the burner is lashed up now, just by two trees. So now when the wind blows it's a lot more stable. At the minute, I am just cutting down this tree behind me. So I'm just stripping it of all the branches. I've got the branches over here, so I'm keeping them in a pile, collecting them for the open fire. And then I'm going to start cutting up this dead full tree for firewood. So this is quite seasoned pine, so it's going to do pretty well. Obviously, it's not oak or anything so it's not that dense but it does the job plus it clears the woodland out a bit and uh, yeah it's a it's bound to go anyway it's just hanging here so it gives space for like new life to to grow the branches are what are holding the tree up so you can just feel it gradually falling so I think I'm going to start from over here and cut along but yeah finally got the flu up which I'm really happy about and it's nice and secure it's really stable which is great so I haven't been showing many of our meals and what we've been eating uh, in the evenings or even at breakfast so we've pretty much been having toast on the wood burner or porridge and then in the evenings I've um, just been having some nice meals so I'll probably start videoing that a little bit more as people like seeing what you're eating and I don't know people just like seeing it so I will be filming more of that soon got my lovely saw from Michael always using this now it's awesome I bring it everywhere with me and it's doing a great job of cutting this tree down So it is the evening now, probably about 7 o'clock, went on a walk, 8 actually, 8 then, <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, um, what was I saying, yeah went on an evening walk just as it was getting dark, well, I went before when the sun was setting and then it was dark, it was really nice, really relaxing. Me and Lou have got the candles on in here now. Got a hot drink on the wood burner. Lou lit the wood burner earlier. And uh, yes, yeah, so it's pretty cosy. It's really warm in here. So yeah, we had our dinner. It was really nice, really good. And uh, yeah, just chilling out now. So it's been a good day, isn't it? 
You had a good day? Mm. You had a good day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's had a good day. Look at that. Um, I've got a uh, earwig on my pillow. Very nice. What is it? An earwig? Ear <laughs> you what? <laughs> Lee's what? had too many, uh, too many Baileys no, tonight. No, what are they called? Um... I don't know what you're on about. Eerie wigs or something. <laughs> <laughs> Eerie wigs, yeah? What are they called? That's called? a new one. Smoky and ear. Eerie wigs on the pillow, everyone. No, what are they called? Eerie wigs, that's the one. Yeah, oh. so me and Lou <laughs> just chill out now yeah. and enjoy the rest of our evening. So, night everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Big shout out to my guy, Rach, for this lovely little candle burner it's got scents in the top of it and little tea light so thanks for that mate so this is our main source of light in here candles as uh, we're trying to save as much power as possible with using torches and that so candles are much better op option it's also a nicer light in my opinion mm -hmm.